Plus you, Zord. Hmm, yes, because they wanted to make as much money from this series as possible. Uh, so they adapted the one team that has like 10 rangers in because monies. Uh, and yes, I do know that uh, these pieces aren't attached, but um, every other time I've done it, it was a bit hard. So to send me the time and the pressure, I decided not to. Right, enough talk, let's just get to what this thing does. Right, here's the front of the thing. What happens when you insert a charger? Because there's no, this one doesn't have any sounds. This cannon thing pops out. That's it. Now, Megazord time. First, you, do, you remove this front part. And then you stand it up. And then you reposition. I'm not too good at doing these. You have to reposition these. And then on the left one, you, you attach the plus your head. And you separate the legs. And then you attach these jets to the to the bottom, i.e. the feet. And it's probably looking really, really um, awkward on camera, but I don't know. And then around the back, you have these arms. You can use these arms. I'll just remove this one because uh, well, these are all the hands. So I just remove this one to stick onto the spare plug. And then what you do is you just lift this panel of the face up. And now you have Plessio Megazord. Uh, now we're going to do the part where we combine the Plessio Megazord and the Dino Charge Megazord and um, well, I, couple, I've, I don't own the Pachyzord uh, so this might appear a bit wonky but I've got most of the parts required to make it work so let's do it first thing is to remove the Plessio head and then you remove the arm on the side and for now stick that in uh, the leg section like before Cover the face panel on this, remove the entire headpiece, um, remove the feet from here, and now this is the difficult bit. Um, I think you have to position the arms like this and then move the legs in place. So they click in place like this, and and now you remove the arms. Hands. And then what you do is you grab the dino charge megazord. Hello! And then you remove the Stego and the Triceratops, um, and the yellow thing around the back, on the helmet, on the Megazord. And then what you do is you spin this entire thing around. And then what you do is you stick um, this piece on top, this massive piece uh, on top. Now I'm not entirely sure whether you should remove the uh, the arm sockets or not, but I'm not going to just to be sure. And it should look something like this, and it's, I don't think it's probably combined, but so that's the least of my worries at this point. And then you have to open these doors here, and, and then you drop these connector ports downwards. And now, um, since I've only, uh, I've since I've only got the, the Triceratops, I think the Triceratops is required for this, I've forgotten. And I don't, I'm not sure I've forgotten, let's just attach anything, let's just use the Plusio head. Oh, and let's just use Tricera. So it should look something like this. Uh, and then what you do is you attack. The, what then what you do is you grab the uh, head here, and then you spin it around so, so the white side is facing you, and then you open it up so this face is looking at you. And then th there should be a, a hole on top, and then you insert that into this. And you have this formation, I've completely forgotten what it's called, and yes, I know this is wonky, but I can't really do anything about it. Um, so yeah, there's that. You can also do it with the Spinozord, but that wasn't in the show, that wasn't in Courageur even, so, meh. Time for the Brachiosword, and yes, this is the, one of the biggest swords in I own. Uh, right, first thing is that the charges inside aren't actually removable, which means there's no such thing as a dino charger storage case. Boom! But, so what we can do is we can, um, do the, uh, Hinkey, Hinkey, Hinkey! Thing, and I only realised, I think, after watching some YouTube video, all the different references to, uh, the other, I think it's the other, um, like, auxiliary zords, or, or auxiliary charges, that's, uh, 11, 12, 11 to 23, and I didn't, I only noticed some of the references like this one, until I watched the, um, YouTube video, that is supposed to be Dino Charger number 20, uh, I, I think it's more noticeable if you, uh, look at the, the gold parts, 
like these parts, but it's not more noticeable if you go and look at whatever else. Right, first thing is to remove the tail, like this. Ta -da 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 and you'll go over, over to the side. Oh, uh, and yes, this part isn't removable in the slightest. And then what you do is you move this here and remove his uh, big neck. You go to the side. And then you can close this entire body. Now this is like a chomping mouth. It looks like the logo. This is the chest part of the uh, Megazord. Then what you do is you move the legs into place using the clips. And now he can stand. Next thing is to grab these arms, fold these parts in, and then spin them around so uh, they more closely resemble arms, obviously. And now you've got these connections. And then what you do is you move this over here, and then you grab the head here. Now, just, just quickly for the feature, this does not drop all the way down like on the Japanese version. This only just opens up. And since, again, this has no sounds, what it does is... A boom, there's a cannon resembling a dino charger in there. So what you do is you painfully, painfully remove his top top part of his face. And inside is a uh, head. And that folds out, and that goes on top of the uh, Megazord. So this is what the uh, Brachiosaur should look like. And as for his weapon, it's the neck piece and the tail piece just connected together. Um, and very, very quickly before I end this uh, video, I'm actually going to say right now that I can't do the big combination because I don't own the Power and the Raptor Zords. So that's why I'm skipping that bit despite the fact I did the um, Plessio Zord combination with, without the Packer Zord. Uh, I'm saying that because um, this one actually actually requires a part on top of this, which is the Raptor Zord if I recall correctly. And I think I'll just look really really wrong just to have a stick of anything on so I won't be showing that. Um, so, hope you understand. Uh, also, uh, also, that also includes the uh, cannon, uh, which is a massive, just this that's opened. I can't draw the eyes out, because I, I think that's the, basically the same thing. That's the uh, big, massive combination. Spino Zord! And yes, I seriously have this Zord. Uh, well, uh, well, in the shops, or, or rather in the line, they had two. They, they had the Spino Zord, but they also had the Black T-Rex. I saw the Black T-Rex as a massive waste of time, and I don't think I was wrong on that, because uh, apparently um, the Dino Charger sound for the uh, Black T-Rex is the same as the regular T-Rex one. So uh, what's the point in showing you that uh, when I um, already did? So I went for the, for the Spino Zord. Now, this is supposed to belong to the Talon Ranger, but the Talon Ranger was scrapped at the last minute. Um, now, I don't know why they did that, maybe, maybe, maybe it's because of time restraints, I don't know, I don't work in the industry. Um, but uh, even though this comes with a Dino Charger which has pins for a scrapped sound in the Morpher, and I believe in the, uh, not in the Carnival Morpher, no, Carnival Morpher, T-Rex Supercharged Morpher. Right, again, since this, this, since this has got no sounds, what they decided to do for Charger-wise is uh, this. That's it. Uh, now there's also a gun or cannon rather that shoots darts. You can be, you can remove that. Uh, I, I am going to show you what it looks like in Megazord form. I don't own the Packy or the Anklo Zords like I said earlier, so it's just going to be really, really, really quick. Transform is basically the same way as the um, T Rex Zord does. Legs, and there's also another helmet. And this, this is what it should look like, and as for his weapon, weapon, it's the, um, hang on, it's the cannon. But it just opens, and there's a handle in there, and that's it. So, coming up next will be the Ninja Seal stuff, and then that's it.